What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Still no power, huh? This is how it's going to be? This is how it's going to be Magic Online? Okay. You little, you little shitter. Okay, so we're doing another Vintage Cube draft, and it's funny because I was complaining about always drafting blue and black decks with maybe a Grixis Splash, and here are the main two cards I'm interested in are Fallen Shinobi and Splinter Twin, so... Really, it's not that I'm not trying. I feel like the, the white cards are just not as good... Like, usually you can find really good mono white decks, but for some reason it just doesn't feel like I've seen those. Maybe I haven't. I'm just, I'm not disposed to looking at them. What do you, what do we, what do we take here? Fallen Shinobi? Is it just Fallen Shinobi every time? I, I'm, I'm really glad they put this back in the queue and I'm Shut actually surprised it was not in the queue. Hey, Tony, thank you for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, dude. Bayou, interesting. That is an interesting choice. Hmm. Well, if I had a Bayou, I'd probably just use it to cast the Fallen Shinobi. So I feel like we should skip the middleman and just cast the Fallen Shinobi. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I like a Euro. I also like Palace Jailer if we want to be like... So now we just got to figure out if it's Esper or Sultai. I also like Mull Drifter, but I think I would take Euro over Mull Drifter. Probably not opposition with Fallen Shinobi. I also think opposition is very hard to get to work. I'm actually tempted to take it out of my queue because I just think it's it's very good, but it's really got to come together. And I think if it's a card that's very polarizing and that like if it doesn't come together, it's actually just not good. I'm going to take Euro. I have not picked a Euro thus far. Oh, Verdant Catacomb and, a, and an Upheaval. I think with a Euro and a Fallen Shinobi, we're just taking Verdant Catacomb. I think it's a little too good to to not take here. Oh, Remand? Buddy, I'll Remand all day. There's nothing more frustrating than a Remand. I went to get I went to my barber today and he he has uh Oh, that's not gonna work at all, isn't it? It's he has bottles of Coca-Cola bottles. Classy guy. Classy guy. Okay, this pack is not great. Sneak Attack's really good. Kiki Jiki, really good. Nothing else for us really good. Toxic Deluge is a maybe. Endurance is actually kind of okay. I'll take an Endurance. I think that's a fine, that's a fine gentleman. Oh, Thoughtseize is good. I also do love Dak Faden, but now we have double green. I guess we could be Teamer and take out Fallen Shinobi, but I think Thoughtseize is probably just fine. Here's a Pestermite. I consider Kiki Jiki Splinter Twin to have four main components with some secondary components. The four main are Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki, Deceiver, Exarch, and Pestermite, because I'm old school and that's what the deck was originally consisted of, right? Zealous Conscripts is great as a supplemental card, but you want to go one into the other. And you can't go Zealous into Splinter Twin because it's too expensive, and you can't go Zealous into Kiki because they cost the same. So the fact that we've passed four, three out of four of these so far is very frustrating. I don't love it. Not great, Bob. Oh yes, the Kajiki Jiki. Um, I don't want to dig because we also have escape here. Like I think, I think Delve competes with with escape a little little too heavily. I almost like Toski. Could also Mesmeric Fiend. Yeah, maybe it's Mesmeric Fiend. I'm going to take Toski. I'll actually play that guy. Oh, by the Bayou came back. See what I'm saying? The Bayou came back. Cabal Therapist. Okay. You got me. Wow. Literal nothing? Absolutely nothing. I guess we'll take it into here. Oh, a Shriek Maw. Oh, a Nurturing Peatland? How many blue-black lands do we need? No, I'll take Shriek Maw because it's actually a, an evasive interactive card that can actually kill or uh you can actually use it to ninjutsu this guy sure i'll take this thing sure i'll take this thing sure i'll take this thing those none of those were any good
Sultai never left the menu. That's the secret. It's a secret menu. You have to you have to know to order it off of it. The mall drifter didn't come back though, you know. Oh, we got a soul ring. I hope this Warren clicks come back. This this card's very good. I'm really it's after playing it and seeing it played in this cube, I'm really glad I added it to my own cube. That guy's... Those guys are just... All of the, the new Praetors are just, ho like, houses. Oh, a Mind Twist after we take a Soul Ring? I mean, that's just... That's just perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't actually love Grist. I think he's kind of mediocre. You just make an insect and mill a card? Sure. If an insect card was milled this way, it literally never happens. That's not a thing. Is it just Worm Coil? It might just be Worm Coil. We got a Soul Ring and a, and a, and a Euro so far. Sure, I'll take Worm Coil. Dark Slick Shores. Gotta leave them black and blue. Um, Honestly, I like Flooded Strands better. Like, this this gets any blue fetch land we might get. It also just gets an island, worst case scenario, but... And Misty... Oh, God, the bribery. You're a four, you're a two. I think we're just taking the bribery. I, I love a Misty, but bribery just literally prompts concessions every so often. So, yeah, I'll take a Liliana. Very easily. I would like that Misty to come back, I'll be honest, but we just took a Flooded, so I feel less bad about it. Even though Flooded gets us nothing currently. I have faith. Oh, Mystic Confluence? I will, like, there's some cards that, like, I will almost always take because I just love the way they play. Mystic Confluence is one, Bribery is one. Oh, Eternal Witness? Hmm, that's fascinating. Force of Vigor is also an interesting addition. I, I think it's good. I also don't mind a Spell Pierce, but this feels like a, a very Eternal witness -y deck. Also, Liliana fills the grave for Euro, so like I feel like we can start putting stuff in our graveyard. Regrowth? Oh, let's take this Deathrite Shaman. Oh, that seems... That seems saucy. Oh, uh, I don't hate a Vraska here. If we get an Oko, the Oko Vraska combination is very preferable. Grist might not be terrible now on the wheel. Sack a creature. Do we have any creatures we even care about sacrificing? I guess we sacrifice the guy that it makes. Sure, I'll take a pest, a finale, and a birthing pod and a braids. It's true. Definitely not a death wrong shaman, if you know what I mean. No one knows. I don't hate. I don't hate the way this looks. Um, breeding pool. Now we're talking. We can get that with both a flooded and a verdant. Cryptic commands a little bit off the menu. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's. I think it's breeding pool, hundred percent. Remember those cards we were talking about that we just never passed? I guess we're going to pass it this time because someone passed us a Mox Jet. But, you know, otherwise, definitely wouldn't pass it. Yo, we human. Dan, you've been in the chat for like a half an hour now. Did you just figure this out now? I don't even understand what's going on. <laughs> it's, it's like the, the Dan Snacks AI bot. Oh, Watery Grave? Beautiful. Hey, I'm distracted with some other things. What are you, at work? Oh, I'm working. I have a job. Okay. I had a pre-screen interview yesterday, and I, I heard it went really, really well, so fingers crossed for that. You know, he's not wrong. That's true. It's a fair point. Underground Sea? Oh, God. 
Oh, dear. Jeez. I really want this coma, though. I'm going to take the underground sea because, come on, it's just more, it's, it's an underground sea. Oh, I think we're taking a suspicious stowaway here. We're short on some two drops and this card's just so good. Like, I think it's better than Looter. I think it's better than Jace, uh, Vryn's Prodigy. I think it's probably the best Looter. I think, so it's funny because like the two best Looters in the cube, there's a treachery, wow. Um, I think the two best Looters in the cube now are both Suspicious Stowaway and Rona. Rona has literally just won me games because she's humongous. Like she just becomes a 5-5. Five five. And a lot of times you can loot multiple times in a turn. So it's just a lot of value there. I'm going to take this in case we get like a... Oh, wow. Demir Signet, huh? Meet Hook Matt. Oh, let's take Glenn. Glenn is actually insane here, especially if we can like use it to bounce Shinobi or something. Man, between Euro Demir Signet, Soul Ring, and Death Ray Chaman, like... And a, and a Mox Jet. Like, not a bad... Not a bad little mid rangey rampy deck. Two good lands. A Gaia's Cradle, which is kind of junk, you know? No one really wants that. I think it's Waterlogged Grove here. Our mana base is looking very, very good. Nothing really exciting here. I guess we'll just take Cabal Ritual. We're not an Oath deck. Fatal Push was a nice little pickup there. Really hoping for... Oh, Maelstrom Balls. Okay. Done. Dunzo in the Bunzo. That's what the kids say, right? I think this is our deck, actually. Exactly enough. I think we were taking lands pretty highly there. But I don't feel bad about it. Is literally every land here playable? That's really good. Wow. Also, Pest Infestation for the sideboard is super, super nice. That card is very good. Sort by mana value. No, by color. All right. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Let's see how that looks. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Ten, nine. Green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, 10, 9, 8 seems pretty good with this distribution. I could see cutting one for one because we also have Demir Signet. Yeah, let's do that. Plus, we want a green for death. Like, there's a lot of things we want green for as well. All right. Let's do it. Soaring. Well, we, we got a Mox Jet. We didn't open power per se but we had it passed to us. It was a sympathy, it was a pity power. And now we wait. Well, we didn't break out of the black-blue deck, but we did add green instead of red. So, I'm sorry, man. Like, if you're going to pass me cards like Bribery and Treachery and Fallen Shinobi, like, those are just my bread and butter, and I love playing those cards. Some people enjoy winning. I enjoy the journey. But I enjoy winning, too. Don't get me wrong. So, <laughs> Dan, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always good seeing you, my dude. This hand's kind of rough.
But I believe in us. I believe that we'll draw some good things, you know? We can just cast this guy. Watch, they're going to go channel. Ready? Okay. That's still very good. Oh boy, is that good. I guess we have a treachery, right? Mm -hmm. That guy's obnoxious. Yeah, crack that clue. I want to crack that clue. Let's talk about your dad. This guy's getting really sizable, but I think we can just take it. Take it to the limit. Oh, they're drawing a lot of cards, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, wow, they're getting in there with Rafelos. That's fascinating to me. I am fascinated. This is an aggressive move. I'll choose your graveyard. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this tasty snack. Sure. Oh, he gets excited. Yo, I could have this. Two, three, four. I mean, the, the problem is the one thing we don't want to do is bounce this guy with Fallen Shinobi. But are they gonna kill? Are gonna are they gonna kill our treachery? They're going to Manamorphose. Try to hit something. It's an Arbor Elf. Into an Elvish Mystic. What? How do you have two of those things? How did you not play? Did you draw both of them? I don't understand what's going on. How do you have two? Oh, fascinating. Hmm. I guess we'll get in there. Hmm. I wonder if we, we sack the clue. What is his wording? Whenever you sacrifice a clue, I am sacrificing it, right? Let's see if that works. Oh, it did work. Clever, clever. Hey, what a smarty. Hmm. Okie dokie. How convenient. You get to kill everything, huh? Seems good. Not ideal. Oh my god, you have two lands? I took two damage for that. Unbelievable. And we're definitely trading with this questing beast. So, and then we're definitely following Fallen Shinobi next. Oh, that's great because that's not the one. Oh, that's great. 
Come at me, bro. So yeah, the, the, the Vraska sacking a clue token is interesting because the question itself, um, I'm asking it because I'm not sure if Magic Online will see it that way. I mean, the answer is clearly yes, right? Like, I'm sacrificing a, a clue. So I'm mostly curious if the wording of the game supports that, like if it's programmed to do so. So we're not going to play our own land. We're going to attack you. This guy doesn't have reach, right? Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. This is probably an instant scoop, I imagine. Oh boy. <laughs> now it's a scoop. <laughs> it's... Uh, one, two, three. Oh boy. Could have also done three and then Leon of that guy, but. Oh boy. Boy, all my stuff is his. <laughs> Theirs. Oh, we got got their tireless tracker, their inferno titan, their hex drinker, and that's the end. That is fallen shababi. I don't know why it's called that, but didn't see many artifacts or enchantments. I guess we can consider the clues. Artifacts, but not really worth killing. Ten out of ten, no changes. Okay. Grist making a pest into fallen shinobi is pretty decent. That guy's really a pain in the ass. Oh boy. play this well fingers crossed we can deal with that gentleman yield until the end step I guess we're getting a breeding pool <laughs> oh, we missed. Oh, that's good. We hit a bribery. Fantastic. Well, theoretically, we should be able to kill this guy next turn. King of the Hill reboot, eh? Well, damn it, Bobby. Oh, good. I can turn my Mox Jet into an Elk. I think that's fine if you do that. Are you just going to make a food? You probably just make a food, right? Nice. Nice. So, black, black, green, green, black, green. I think we just kill this and play Glenelendra here. That feels correct. I guess we can attack first.
Sacrifice a creature. This guy. And kill this guy. And play a swamp and play Galeni. <sighs> so if they want to pump this up to a four, I mean, we can block and then sack to kill it because it's kind of obnoxious. And that's fine. Yeah, just pump that guy one. Sure, 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 sure. That's actually pretty good. Um, hmm. I think we just play that and make a make a bug. So if they pump five, they're going to be it. They're not going to be able to pump five next turn or six next turn to put it up to a protection from everything. So I don't think I care about that just yet. I think I just want to play Fallen Shinobi here. Bazinga. Dak Faden. Play your land. Play Dak Faden. And we'll do one of these jobbies. Discard Forest and Flooded Strand. No, Flooded Strand is just better than Watery Grove here, right? Because it gets underground. And make a guy. I feel like we're doing okay here. Fallen Shinobi. It's such a satisfying card. Like, it takes a bit of setup, but the rewards are disproportional to the setup. Like, I feel like it's much easier to get going than it should be, based on the rewards. <sighs> oh, big stretch. This is where they go Mox. Pump Hexstringer up to a 7,000. It's over 7,000. Natural order for questing beast. That's fascinating. Which one are you killing? What in the earth? Uh, all right, so I'm just blocking here for obvious reasons. Like, I'm not going to let you kill both my planeswalkers. Getting that grist again, huh? Interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Kill this guy. Get in there with this guy. What's it gonna... Forests? Oh, no! What is it, Watson? What can I help you with, my son? You wanna come up here? Oh. Uh, so I'm tempted to steal their one of their clues? I don't know, I don't think that's very good. That's fascinating. Watson, you're so dark, people can barely see you.
are you doing, champ? I think we're just gonna F6 here. We have no real responses. And by F6, I mean six, because it's not F6 anymore. Watson is a distinguished gentleman. Look how handsome. You okay, champ? We know they have Inferno Titan in there. I mean, if they go for Dak, I'm just going to block. We're also at nine. Like, this is eight damage right here. But it's not lethal, so. All right, I'm going to put you down, champ. Whoop. There you go, bud. Okay. So, one, two, three... They keep trying to trying to prevent me from taking their cards, and it's just not going to happen. Oh, sneak attack and tri builder. Okay, fascinating. Cast it. Cast it. And I'll play one of my own lands this time, I guess. I'm just going to steal this clue. <laughs> like, now I'm just in, like... There you go. Now you got nothing. You're in top deck mode. Oh, you had a crater hoof in hand. Now it's now it's in the graveyard. What's your top deck? That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty... Pretty, 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 pretty good. So they draw a card. If it's an island, they're in great shape. Does not look like it was an island. Um, I don't care enough to sacrifice that guy. It's a free block at a future point. Destroy an online permanent mana value three or less. Deal. Third planeswalker. I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, okay. Deal, I guess. Let's see what it is. Fascinating. This is so many cards that we've taken. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Do that. Uh, do this. Discard these two. Uh, do this. On nothing. Did everything? All right. Yeah, okay. They really, they gave it their all, you know? They really gave it the old college try.
You, you ever think you're not in stage one? I feel like it's always stage one no matter what. Now this is a this is a hand. This is a banger of a hand right here, my dudes. I do wish we had a forest here, but I, you know what? Really? It's uh It's a turn 2 hard cast fallen shinobi. That still seems good. One, two, three, four, five. I guess it's just a turn two fucking worm coil engine. And then we can bounce the worm coil to Fallen Shinobi. Sure. Feeling good. I like the way you die, boy. <laughs> So you guys, power is really important. Like, you know, it's it's okay to have decks without power, but when you draft it, it's really good. And let's be honest, Sol Ring is power. Sol Ring is arguably better than some of the other options. This is good. No, nowhere near as potent. But you know, it gets the job done. And if we top deck a Sol Ring or a Mox, you know, then we're just then we're just, then we're just living our best life, you know. Gorios in tomb and fable. I think it's Gorios. I mean, they can't cast either, so it's like, can you, there you go, we're done. Come on, Mox Jet. Papa needs to take a jet. Watson? Make sure he's not doing any shenanigans over there. Yep, that's not a Mox Jet. What did they play? They played a forest? Okay. Swamp. Mountain again. Fable's good. Fable's a solid, solid dude. Oh, fashionably late to the party, I see. Hmm. There's no way we can play Fatal Push, Soul Ring, and Euro this turn, I'm pretty sure. We got this into Soul Ring, tap Soul Ring, need a blue and a black for Euro, then the Euro plays the Waterlog Grove. We don't have a way to keep a black up and still do all those things. I almost think it's more important to just kill this guy. No, we can't. Yep, there you go. You figured it out. <clears throat> so they reanimated Atraxa? Okay, so we know about these three. Okay, they chose Snuff Out, Hierarch, Pest, Forest, and Grist. 
No Thoughtseize. No Ophiomancer. One, two, three, four, five. They played the pest. Yep, that was a very good series of draws. Reanimate Anatraxa. Seems good. Fascinating. Good thing she has lifelink, so it's like you didn't lose anything. Yep, there's Grist. Fable's gone. Burst Lightning is, I assume, gone. I don't think that's a card you had or drew. Hmm, animate dead. Good to know. Treachery. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! The daddiest. I mean, unfortunately, we have no way to deal with this, so we're just going to lose a Traxa. But it's better than dying to a Traxa, I guess. Toski. Toski! Yep. And Noble Hierarch's gone. I assume they played a forest. So we know about Entomb and Snuff Out, huh? No attacks. All right, well, looks like we've stabilized a little bit. That's not ideal. This is a 2-2, right? So they just block. I guess I have to attack, so. Two, three, four, five. Liliana. Breeding pool. Man, after game one, this is quite the slog. What? Okay. <sighs> One card that isn't snuff out or in tomb. Okay. Meat Hook Massacre would be fantastic here, but we don't have that in our deck, so. Uh, one, two, three, four. They do have a Snuff Out. So we want to keep a blue up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to just make them cast it again, I guess. One, two. Uh, black is actually not going to help us cast this. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yep. The snuff out in hand is kind of obnoxious. Oh, it took four? Not expect that to happen. Sure. There you go. Get that damage in. Okie dokie. I think we're okay to go to the next game here. Lots of lands. Fantastic. Um, pest infestation didn't seem great. Does finale seem decent here? Being of pre combat, you sacrifice a creature. We need to choose an online card in terror player. I don't know how I feel about this this card. Why does it do it twice? I don't understand. I think our deck is good. I'm not gonna let that. It hits Fable, but that's literally it. Oof. Mulligan. <laughs> uh, this is fine. Keeper. Need a blue source. Having endurance in hand is good when they're trying to do their do their nonsense. Also, last hope seems good. I think we'll get rid of Braska here. Yeah, actually, we should have kept Braska. Oh, I guess we have Euro now, but... Uh, I mean, we were keeping Braska, too, as a as a way to evoke this, and I think I forgot about that, so... But they did not entomb. Just give me a blue source here so I can Euro. Thanks. Uh, no. So no land and no green card. Not the best. Can't cast this. No double black. That was a that was a fairly good hit. Um, I think we just keep up remand here, and then hope to bribery next turn. There we go. That's fine. No one cares about that. That's really weird.
That's interesting. All right, so next time we can bribery. Fingers crossed they don't just go like entomb into a tracks or something. <laughs> Similar but different, I guess. What can you do? Okie dokie. Well, I guess the only bright side is that we're not taking 10 because they're going to clearly kill Liliana. Oh, boy. Bayou Grist Vengeance Bone Shards. Snuff out? Did they not... What? Oh, Vengeance. Got it. Bayou, Grist, Vengeance, Bone Shards. Okay. Hmm. That is interesting. So they're going to Gorio's Vengeance. What can we do about that? I'm actually not sure how to how to play this. Like, I don't want them to get another Atraxa activation, so I think we wait for them to Gorgio's Vengeance. I think we give them one more turn with the... Oh, boy. What a revolting development. God damn it. <laughs> Use the mana. I've given you the mana. Sure. So we can play this here and then next turn bounce it back with Shinobi. That's interesting. That's pretty good. So I'm tempted to kill this because if they play Grist, they can kill Fallen Shinobi. So let's evoke this guy. Get rid of this guy. And now we still have Endurance in case they want to do some Goryeo's Vengeance shenanigans. All right. 
Having endurance in hand against the reanimate deck is kind of nice. Oh, if it isn't Chorwit. Lucky, 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 lucky. Lucky, lucky is right. Uh huh. Gristle Brand, eh? But they know I still have endurance. I guess they're just like hoping that I didn't have a green card. Where did it go? <laughs> sure. What? What does that even do? <laughs> okay, well, that's a bummer. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Let's go to five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What an amazing turn. It was pretty pretty amazing. I had to I had to have Emrakul in hand, I guess. This is exhausting. I guess I should have bribery way sooner because they have Emrakul in their deck. I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I was giving them too much rope. Cool. I guess they still have Emrakul, so if we top deck, like... <laughs> it's fucking amazing, dude. Never don't have it, do they? Wonderful. Oh, God. Yep. Dies with bribery in his hand after they cast an Emrakul. And by cast, I mean draw it and put it into play with, sh with sneak attack. Um, I mean, there was a chance I could have briberied. I played like Euro and kept up remand. I mean, I definitely could have briberied and played an Emrakul. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it was just like, I mean, we don't know if it was in their hand since.
Is this guy okay? Why is he saying his name? I'll say I'll say yo bag, but <laughs> it's, it's like if I was like yo Frank, that's me. I'm like I don't understand. That guy's good. I'm gonna kill him, but he's good. <laughs> See, Fleming knows what's up. Let's get a watery grave. Breeding pool. Definitely want double black. I also want double blue. Yeah. Yeah, watery grave. Hmm, is that so? Cast him as a man. <laughs> What's up, Tane? That's funny, I should say that. Whoa. Whoa. Bazinga. What's up, Bazinga? Fallen Shinobi? It was not. One, two, three, four. Big Toski, check it and see. Drawing cards with Glen Elendry. <sighs> no, you, you don't get to have three. I'll, 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 I'll decline drawing one, so you can't draw three. That's where I'm at, emotionally. Even though you got five cards in your hand, you know, that's a lot. Um, no, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me enough. What's your modes? You can actually have Sylvan Library. I mean, we get to draw two here, so that's cool. As long as they're not both lands, right? Am I right? <laughs> he was right. Black, green, and we'll just use a soul ring. Get rid of this guy. Play this guy. Yeah, you know what? Waste that mana. They got a Sylvan Library, but that's definitely worth popping with a... Yep, that's not a... She gone. Thank you. Wasi, well, you just gotta give me a minute. I can't take you out right this second. Oh, with the Chanel with the resub, really appreciate it, my dude. Oh. Isn't that good? Well, all right then. We're gonna go green, 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 green. Yeah, boy. It's your girl. Going to counter some spells. 
So this is just some value. This is just a value situation here. We won the game. What's up, Tane? You can't be emotionally unstable if you have no emotions. Christian with the with the wise words. I was like, we submitted our deck, right? Yes, we did. What was that noise? What was that noise? What's going on? Am I still alive? Am I still... Is the game still going? Are you guys still there? Is anyone there? Is there anybody out there? Did I not submit hard enough? Should I submit harder? Faster? Better? Stronger? I mean, this is a hand that wants a mox, a mox jet. Why not mox opal? Onyx? Onyx. Why not a Mox Onyx? A Monix, if you will. I will keep it. You know what? I'll take a Soul Ring too. I'm not gonna be super picky. You put a Soul Ring right here. That's not. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, look at that guy. Mind twist. I don't mind. Twist. Come on, Monix. Give me that Monix one time. Let's do some praying, guys. Let's let's do some thoughts and prayers. Oh my god. This Liliana is really just that's a black source. It's kind of close, but we're still going to do the. Actually, let's kill that Dark Confidant first. I don't need you to be drawing no extra cards. I guess he wanted to draw the extra cards. Really hard to, really hard to stop, I guess. Fantastic. Watson, stop. Watson has to go out and I just, I can't like take him right this second. So it's, oh God.
I mean, this is the only thing we can really do here because we can't. Wow, our hand was really not great. Rex Sage, Overflowing Chalice, and Devoted Druid. That's kind of poops. Kept two. A bold strategy. One, two, three. We can Eternal Witness and then get rid of one again. <laughs> we draw a Mox, we can get rid of two. Or they can just play something for... That's good. Seems juicy. Second black source would be great here. I don't know. After seeing Chalice and Sylvan Library, it might just be worth being bringing Pest Infestation. Maybe cut Endurance because I don't think they have any sort of graveyard interactions. Mr. Graveyard. Bam, bam, bam. Dum, dum, dum. This feels like an easy trade. I don't know. You got it. Oh, you got it. Such gots. I guess we're just worm coiling here, huh? Hey, just gonna do the worm coil, huh? Thank you. Who was that? Static suicide? Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at this. We're gonna draw a forest. Yep. Also, now that we've seen we've seen Courser and Simic, so yeah, pest infestation seems B A N A N A S. They're also at like five, dude. Did they just not block? What? <laughs> Did they... Wait, what? <laughs> Did they not know they were at five? What just happened? Go back to the game. Was that an accident? They have four blockers. That seemed like it had to be a mistake, right? Anyway, 2-1. I guess we'll take it. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Slam the buttons. If you're going to follow, subscribe, do the thing, you know what to do. You've been on the internet. It's not your first rodeo. I got to get out of here. I got to take Watson out. I'll be right back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.